I'd like to remove this recently inserted transition once more. So I select it, and I have to make sure that I'm not accidentally selecting the clip edges. I really want to select the transition, and so I'll click, for example, in this region. And now I'm sure that the actual transition is marked. And with the delete key, I can remove it. Now I'd like to use the effects library once more. We saw in the previous lesson that we can specify the duration of a transition here below, but we can also specify the standard duration elsewhere. And as we've seen previously, we have the possibility to call up some extended options for transitions by using the right mouse button. So I'm here in the effects library and I'm in the transitions 2D. And here, I'll click with the right mouse button in an empty area, and this context help opens. And here, I can see duration. And here, we have the sub option, transition. If I call this up with the left mouse button, a field appears entitled effect duration. And I can specify a value here. For example, two seconds, by selecting the seconds number, and for example, moving the mouse wheel. I'll confirm with OK. And now, I'll use this transition via drag and drop. I'll use the dissolve transition, and I can see purely from the graphical display that it appears to be longer than the previous transition. With Alt and U, I can call up the info field for the duration, and there I can see that yes, this transition is two seconds long. I'll select another transition, and I'll drag it to a different clip. And there, I can also see visually that it is approximately the same length. Once again, Alt and U show me the information. And yes, this transition is two seconds long as well. So it's clear that by using the right click function here in a transition folder and duration transition, we can specify a standard length for the transitions. This is practical. However, it would be even better if, for example, I could specify various default lengths for these transitions. And to look at this, I'll right click directly here upon this dissolve transition, and there we have an option, properties. If I go into these properties, then I can see a duration field. But for the minute, I cannot insert anything into this field. So it appears that there is the possibility to define a default length for individual transitions. But the method that I've tried to do so doesn't seem to allow me to do this. How we can save individual transitions with varying durations I'll show you in the following lesson.